Can't see shit. <laughs> Grocery shopping. Grocery shopping. <laughs> so I have brownies for breakfast. All right. It is 9.35 and I'm going to try my best to get to work on time. Good morning, guys. It is Vlogmas Day 11. I know. I took a break. I needed some time to myself, uh, so there is no vlogmas day 9 or 10, but I'll show you what I opened for those two days. I opened a uh, nail polish and it's called Velvet Slipper. And then for day 10, I opened a slip lining pencil. All play, no work. So, this is nine, this is ten. This looks like a blending crease brush. They don't have numbers or names on them. Oh wait, nope, no name, no number, nothing. So I'm going to use this. Um, I just don't know what I'm going to do for today when it comes to a look. So let me go ahead get started on that and I mean y'all gonna see me do my eyes I'm not gonna do the whole face just for the sake of time okay.
it is 7 19 in the evening i just got home from being at work from 11 to 6 and today we unboxed a sleek i'll say crease brush it's like an angled crease br crease brush and i liked it um, it definitely deposited color on the outer corner of my eye. I got a lot of compliments today on my makeup. Um, but, yes, definitely enjoyed that. I'm so dehydrated. I don't drink enough water. Stay thirsty, my friends. Um, let me go get the product. So... I think you guys pretty much know that I am in love, in love with the Milani Amore Matte Liquid Cream Lipsticks or Lip Creams or whatever they're called. They're liquid lipsticks that are matte and they smell good too. So this is the third color I've gotten. This is actually Amore the color Amore, color 22, and it's red. And when I say these don't budge, I ate Chipotle today. I had a strawberry Fanta and I'm drinking water and there is no, well there's very little like residue of my lipstick on this cup. It's kiss proof because I kissed my girlfriend when I left this morning and it didn't transfer onto her lips. I don't think you need, I don't think you need, you can use a lip liner, but I don't think you need one because this brush like gives you the cleanest lines when you put it on and it's just amazing. Like I tell people all the time, I came up on this lipstick or an accident because my best friend got me my first first one which is Covet. Um, it's the brown one that I love. She got that for me and I was like oh okay best friend. Then I ended up getting Sugar which is the dark red. It's like a wine, a purplish wine, excuse me, purplish wine color. I love that. And then this red, like red, red, like sexy vixen red, Valentine's Day red at that. Oh, I'm so in love. So any color that I can get my hands on, I'm definitely purchasing because these, like you can see there's a little bit of transfer when I rub my finger across my lip. And I only touched up my lip no, I didn't touch up my lips at all today. When I put my lips on this morning, this is it. Like this is from this morning. So, mm. and it's not sticky. My lips don't feel dry. Like if somebody said, oh, your lips look so velvety. That's what it feels like. It feels like velvet. Like my lips don't stick together. No, they don't feel dry or chapped. Cause I know there's a lot of, <clears throat> matte lipsticks that will make your lips feel chapped but mine don't look dry or chapped like I don't have like skin flaking from my lips I'm looking at myself on my phone yeah like I have nothing bad to say about this lipstick this is the world's best drugstore matte cream lip paint whatever Milani did a good job you definitely did a good job. Let's see what else happened today. Oh, so let me let me hit you guys up on the past few days. So Saturday, my camera was dead. <clears throat> and I didn't think to charge my battery Friday night so that it would be fresh for Saturday. But I was too busy to even try and film Saturday. I brought my camera and my phone my light, you know, everything to show you guys the looks that I did. So I was a part of a plus size. Well, I wasn't a part of it because ain't nothing plus size about me except maybe my appetite. 
I helped put on um, a plus size fashion show on Saturday and um, it was celebrating two years of this company called Plus Size Barbies here in Charlotte, North Carolina. So I was one of, I think, five makeup artists. And so that was amazing just to see, you know, people appreciate my work. Not just like the, the owners of the company, but the models that I actually put the makeup on. And I love the feedback that I got from them. Like, you know, I did one girl and she wanted, she felt like my I didn't even out her eyebrows well enough. So she told me, and I like that people feel comfortable enough to tell me like, can you make this longer or a little more of this or, you know, whatever. Whatever criticism or critiques that they have, I'm open because, you know, I feel like you stop, you stop growing as soon as you shut down and you feel like you're the best. And I know there's a lot of stuff for me to learn as a makeup artist, so I'm definitely open to um, constructive criticism. So the women that I actually um, came in contact with and did their makeup, they talked to me, they let me know what they needed, and I feel like I definitely brought the vision to life. Um, the I was told that I was to perform a natural eye with a very dark lip. Um, a very dark lip and that's what I did the outfits were so cute like of course they said that they always make stuff for skinny girls but the stuff that they made for bigger girls I'm like okay well can I find that in my size because that is cute like they had one girl that I did she had on this green long sleeve dress and it had a very like open back but it was a the neckline was very up close it was very cute and i believe it was like a midi dress so it went below the knees and that's something that is just like calling me and then this other girl had on like a mesh sweater gold sweater almost and it had rips on the sides and it was like cute enough that you could wear like biker shorts underneath or like shape shape wearers or whatever they're called it had some stuff that remind me of rihanna she was like a plus size girl um like it was it was very very nice i like it i love the experience um i'm glad that i'm getting more exposure and people are getting to know me more and you know when it comes to charlotte makeup artist my name is in the discussion so i'm very thankful for that so i had to be at the venue which is what the venue's called the venue i had to be at the venue at 11 o'clock in the morning and then the show started at three so I did three, I was able to do three girls from 11 until like two o'clock. Cause I didn't start right at 11. I got there at 11, but I had a set up and all that stuff. So maybe like 11.30, 12 o'clock. So three girls in about two hours, which to me is not bad. Then I left, then I left and I went to another client's house and did her makeup for a Christmas party and I, knew her because I did her daughter's makeup when she went to prom last year. So I went to her house, did her makeup, we talked, so it took a little bit longer than 45 minutes. Um, but she loved it. <clears throat> and then I leave her house, which is in Mount Holly, no, Mint Hill, I'm sorry, Mint Hill, which is like Southeast Charlotte, drive all the way from Southeast Charlotte back to the city and come to find out I missed the entire fashion show. And my heart was so hurt because I wanted to see everybody and the looks all together. But I was able to get pictures, which I was glad. I have tomorrow off and I'm supposed to get up with my god mom because she just launched her lipstick line. And so I'm going to be filming with her. So I'm excited. Um, I realize I don't look into the camera when I talk to you guys. Um, so I am excited about that. And I love her lipsticks because they are like matte. They are matte and they have, she does have some like metallic colors. So I'm gonna see what I can do with it when it comes to using the lipsticks as like eyeshadow. So I'm very excited about that. Um, and I believe I'm gonna buy some from her. She don't know that, but. And I'm gonna put in the order so I can get a shirt made. Um, I want a shirt that says booked and beat by E. So that will be my work shirt when I do my clients. Um, so definitely talk about that with her. So I'm excited. Tomorrow I'm definitely just going to chill. 
Yeah. And if you guys don't get enough of me on YouTube, definitely follow me on Snapchat. And I'll leave my Snapchat down below, um, somewhere on the screen. And then also, if you guys want to see, you know, the uploads of my looks that I do every so often, also follow me on Instagram. And if you want to see my live videos, and I do go live, because I usually go live maybe like once a week, once or twice a week, you can follow me on Facebook. So there's a bunch of ways that you can have your day filled with moi. Um, if YouTube is not enough, since I am doing Vlogmas. I'm going to try and take you guys with me as much as possible, but for now, I'm going to get out these clothes, I'm going to get out this, this makeup. I hope you enjoyed the first week and a half of Vlogmas with me. We're almost halfway through, and we got almost halfway through to go. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay, guys. I'm done playing around. I'll see you guys in the morning and thank you so much for watching. Good night.